Right, welcome back. In the last video, uh, we talked a little bit about degrees of freedoms and how um, computer softwares or structural analysis softwares, um, how they see elements being drawn in their program um, and how they respond. So in, in this video, it's going to be a little redundant, but I think it's very important. Uh, we see how these degrees of freedoms, um, how we can use them uh, to do an analysis and eventually, you know, come up with um, the stiffness method. Um, so let's just start out simple. Let's um, pretend we have a, a beam here and it's it's fixed on, let me draw it a little longer. That should be straight. Okay, it's, it's fixed here on both ends. And let's say I applied a one unit radian load here. One, one unit radian load um, here on the left side of the beam. This beam, this support might um, rotate this way and and it's gonna be 90 degrees here, right? So this is kind of the deformed shape, I guess, if you wanna call it that, um, if we apply to one unit radian load here. This disturbance in the, in the beam or in the element um, is gonna generate six different uh, reactions, okay? And I'm gonna, well, let me draw, I guess I can draw it in, no, let's do it in green. Can, I don't, that's too bright. Let's just do it in black, I guess. This disturbance is gonna generate six different reactions. So here on the left, there might be a rotation reaction. Here on the right, there's gonna be a rotation. Here there's gonna be a vertical. Here there's gonna be a vertical. Here there's gonna be an axial, an axial. And notice I drew these um, from left to right. And we did rotations first, then verticals, then horizontals, uh, just like in the last video, okay? And I'm gonna label these uh, right now, I'm just gonna call them K, okay? These reactions, I'm gonna call them K. And I'm gonna have subscripts here. And remember in the last uh, video, let me actually scroll up there, uh, we said uh, this is P, this is Q, this is R, this is S, this here on the left is T, and this one here on the right is U, so P, Q, R, S, T, U, okay? Uh, just think of those as the locations uh, for now. So here we have K, P, K, Q, K, R, K, S, K, T, K, U, and I'm actually gonna write a second subscript here and that subscript corresponds to the location of the applied one unit radian load. So here I applied a rotation um, and that's P, right? So I'm gonna put a P here, P here, P here, P here, P here, and P here. These are the six uh, generated reactions when we disturb this structure. Now, if we drew the second, if we drew a second beam, right, it's fixed here, and this time we applied a, a one unit radian load here on the right side, uh, then the beam is gonna look something like this, right? Somewhat of a deformed shape. Um, <clears throat> and in black, uh, this one kip, or I'm sorry, one unit radian load is gonna cause six disturbances. And one's gonna be here, 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 and here, okay? And I'm gonna call these Ks, K, 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 and K, right? And I'm gonna write the subscripts um, very carefully. Uh, so the first one's gonna be P, right? This is P, and then the location of the distur uh, disturbance here is at Q, so it's gonna be P, Q. And this is Q, and the, and the location of the disturbance is Q. Uh, this is R, Q. This is S, Q. This is T, Q. This is U, Q, okay? So uh, that's two. We actually have to do four more. We'll do them rather quick because I think you get the idea now. Um, say uh, the next one, I, I push this up and and um, the beam, or we, we have one unit load here, right? The beam's gonna look something like this. 
right? Not exactly, but something like that. Um, so that's kind of the deformed shape. And again, this is going to cause six different disturbances. I'm sorry, reactions. Uh, there's going to be uh, deformations there, there, and then a vertical one here, vertical one here, um, an axial one here, and an axial one here. And again, I'm going to label these all K. K, 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 right? And again, the subscripts. Um, this one's going to be P, and the location of the disturbance is at R, so I'm going to write an R next to it. This is Q, R, this is um, P, Q, this is R, R, this is S, R, T, R, U, R, okay? I'm sorry, that's a P, this is an R. And if we drew another beam, right? This, um, so here we do the left, here we'll do the right. If we apply to one unit load here, this beam's gonna <clears throat> move up. It's gonna look something like this, right? There's the deformed shape. And again, this is gonna cause six different um, reactions. You're gonna have a, a, a rotational one there, a rotational one there, a vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal. And again, K, 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 and K. And the subscripts, again, uh, this is at P and the disturbance is at S. This is, so it's P, S, this is um, Q, S, this is R, S, this is S, S, T, S, and uh, U, S, so P, Q, R, S, T, U, right? And we need to do two more, bear with me. So here we're gonna apply a, a horizontal, uh, right? And then this is gonna move inward. And again, this is gonna cause six reactions. One here, a rotation, rotation, a vertical, a vertical, a horizontal, and a horizontal and they're all labeled K. Okay, and the subscripts. Remember, the first subscript is the actual location, and the second subscript is where the disturbance was caused. So this was caused um, at T, right? So I'm going to write PT, QT, R, <laughs> QT, QD, RT, ST, uh, TT, and U, T. Um, and then finally we have our last one, yay! Last one, um, we're gonna apply the one uh, unit load here and it's gonna push the beam in, right? It's gonna compress it. And again, there's gonna be a rotation here, a here, vertical, vertical, horizontal, and horizontal, right? And again, these are all labeled K. K, 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 okay? And again, P and the location of the disturbance um, this time was U, so it's gonna P, U, Q, U, R, U, S, U, T, U, and U, U, okay? So whenever we draw something and we apply some type of a load at a certain location, there's six different disturbances caused. Now. If we looked at all these diagrams, if we tried to do statics this way, um, things get very messy, and we don't like messy. So messy is no. Uh, we like things clean. So we're actually gonna, I guess in the next video, um, we're gonna take all of these, I guess there's there's six per, uh, there, there's six different reactions happening per diagram. There's six diagrams, there's, so there's 36, different things going on, right? We're gonna put this into a matrix form and that's kind of gonna be the basis um, of the stiffness method. All right, so see you in the next video.